life doesn't begin till 40. That's four T's, which stands for Tom to the Times. This is an initiative to give, give us this day, its day, at the New York Times. Between now and when the arc is ready, I'd like to see if it's possible for us to strategize on how best to get to the New York Times. For instance, next week, the Baton Rouge, Louisiana Film Festival is celebrating the Year of the Woman. With Give Us This Day, we have an entry into that genre. There is a newsworthy financial terrorism aspect to the book. It deals with ISIS. It points out seriously plausible weaknesses in the city. It's about a woman trying to have it all, while trying to save the world to have it in. It even represents the terrorist side. I'm following in the James Patterson mode, advertising to author. Also, during our drive to number one, this guy came up on my email list as a and to his congratulatory email, I answered back to Mark Heller at the New York Times, or Hiller. Thank you, Mark. It was truly a team effort, turning my friends and associates into a street team. They didn't let me down. It's my second number one. My fifth book, Give Us This Day, a hardcover, releases on October 20th. It's a pretty awesome book, or so I've been told. Thanks for the good words. So the question is, how do we mind this contact, or do we at all? Does it hurt us? Or maybe this angle. You know, after a year-long stop of the LHC, it's a super collider at CERN, it restarts this month with more power and more force than ever before, due to an upgrade and a retrofit. The God Particle examined the other side of this event, the super collision of science, religion, and terror. Maybe that can get us to the Science Times quickly, then lay the groundwork for Give Us This Day to land on the book review desk. If there are any rings or butts to kiss, I'm in. I'm flexible. If there's a route that requires an out-of-town tryouts and smaller town reviews first, let's do it. In short, if I have to get a shoeshine box and go into the 43rd Street entrance and shine shoes in the newsroom till I get a chance to drop an arc on the editor's desk, I'll do it. You know, $5 a shine, it's pretty good money. I'm going to work my tail off at the ITW. Uh, to gather names and authors' commitments to a blurb or quote on Give Us This Day. I think we should have the arcs by July. And I was very successful getting uh, John LaScraw and Linda Fairstein last time, the only two I went after. So suggestions from you on who to go after, who's in the category, uh, rather than just a shotgun approach, probably be good. Also, you know, the book deals with the manipulation of Wall Street by fat cat terrorists fueled by petrodollars and their surrogates. It's a big part to give us this day. And I have a one degree of separation connection to the publisher of the Wall Street Journal. Financial terrorism may be a good hook here. I can get some traction there. But what and when am I asking for? How do we take advantage of this connection? And, you know, Wall Street Journal is, you know, no slag. Uh, it would be good to have a uh, coverage in that. Maybe that would foster the Times to take a look. I don't know. Once again, there's a popular theme in pop culture represented by shows like Madam Secretary, State of Affairs, Scandal, Good Wife, etc. I guess the best you can say about it is it's strong women balancing. Well, Give Us This Day is right in that sweet spot. So let's try to come up with a plan that gets TTTT. <laughs> also, for extra credit, guys, uh, today, Monday, uh, Aaron, Hillary, Jessica, all of you, you may want to take part in a call with my lead retargeting guy. You said too late on Friday, you know, if you drive an M to a landing page, we can place a pixel and then retarget. And then he started talking and I was like, you know what? The team should hear this. Also, we've been holding off on the direct mail campaign uh, to the mailing list that I supplied to Lou. Uh, and then we were waiting for quotes but and reviews, I guess. But does being number one fill that need? Did that give us something to base a direct mail campaign on? Uh, we should look at that. And once again, just, you know, thanks for a great job, guys. I mean, it was, it was really tense at one o'clock in the morning, but we got there. And again, a team effort all the way. You guys are great. Thanks a lot. And uh, let me know what you think about this. Okay. Alrighty. Bye.